North Korea, the U.S. and its allies strongly condemning the country's latest ballistic missile launch. These images here show what is believed to be that projectile. It landed in the Sea of Japan. No damage to shipping or aircraft, but the launch, the second by the North this year, only raising concerns. ABC's Britt Clenet reporting from Hong Kong. Tonight, tensions rising after the U.S. National Security Council says North Korea launched an intercontinental ballistic missile that landed in Japanese waters. This new video released earlier today showing what Japanese military officials say appears to be a missile falling from the sky. This is an outrageous act which escalates the level of provocation against the international community. Such act is absolutely unacceptable. The United States also strongly condemning North Korea, saying this launch is a flagrant violation of multiple UN Security Council resolutions. Japanese officials say the missile was launched from the suburbs of Pyongyang, flying for nearly 66 minutes and roughly 560 miles before falling into the Japanese exclusive economic zone west of the island of Hokkaido. So far, no reports of ships or aircraft damaged. What's extraordinary about this video is that you can see the actual flames when it zooms in on the missile body falling. That suggests that this came awfully close to landing on Japanese soil. Officials say today's launch is the first ICBM test since back in November, when North Korea fired the powerful Hwasong-17 ICBM. We're North Korea now confirming that was an ICBM. State media saying the sudden drill is aimed at confirming the weapon's reliability. Wit? Britt Clennett, our thanks to you tonight. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.